What's going on guys? Rental Bones here with a quick unboxing and review thing. Today I've got something else that I haven't looked at in quite a long time. I've got one of those smartwatch fitness tracker things that you can hook up with your iPhone or your Android phone. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to have a lot of cool features and it's supposed to actually fit my big beefy wrists. So let's open it up and take a look. Comes in pretty nondescript packaging there. You can see I do have some QR codes that you can check out. Yep, yep. Looks like the app download there for the Poo Fit and uh, their website. And there is the actual watch. I'm going to set this off to the side and see what sort of accessories we've got. Ooh, I like the weight. Feels good. Yep, decent packaging there. Get that out of the way. Thank you. We've got a USB charging cable, and it does look like it has one of those little proprietary magnetic connectors. Yep, yep. And we got a quick start guide. We've got the actual instruction manual. We've got the Bluetooth connection problem solution thingy. So we've got lots of good information there. Question and answer. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this watch. Got that film there, and we got the screen film there. Like I said, it does have a really nice weight to it. It feels pretty good. Uh, typical little back plate there that feels all your pulse and all your goodies from inside your wrist. And uh, yeah, let's see how it actually looks on me. And also, um, I do notice it does have a screen protector, so that's pretty cool itself. I love when a watch company makes a band that actually fits my gigantic arms. That makes me happy. Now, it is a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but it actually looks okay on my arm. Not bad at all. So I'm going to turn this thing on, I'm going to put it through its paces, and I will come back to you with all of the features, and all the things I like, and the things I don't like. So it's been about nine days that I've been using this little watch, and if you check my past couple of videos, you do see me wearing it in several of them. Um, I will not wear this in bed. That's just a thing I'm not going to do. It's not very comfortable. It keeps me awake. It makes me want to cry. So yeah, I'm just not going to wear it in bed. And uh, that means I don't have any of my data saved on the little app. The app itself is very intuitive. We're going to get to that in a moment. It's very similar to other smartwatch apps. So if you've ever used a smartwatch in the past, you pretty much know what to expect. Now, the interface here on the watch itself is also pretty intuitive. There are several ways to get about the different apps on there, and that can get a little bit confusing, but overall, it's been a pretty positive experience. It's got like a traditional menu setup too, so you can swipe down and do all sorts of stuff, and it works pretty well. Let's check it out. So here's my fancy little watch. You can see I do have a little Apple logo there as my wallpaper. You can customize the wallpaper to whatever you want. I kind of like this because, uh, yeah, it makes people think I'm fancy and I have an actual Apple Watch. You saw there, I swiped down. We've got the weather, we've got our brightness, and we've got our settings button here. You can go in and change all the different things, including power off, which I have already done, just so I can get it all set up and ready for you guys. Click the side button and it goes back. we got the flashlight here. It just turns the screen white. And yeah, click back. We got another button here that helps you control the camera on your phone. And of course, this thing does have a vibration feature as well. And that's how you get alerts. So, yep, going back here. Basic watch interface there. We've got our sports. We've got our heart rate. We've got sleep. We've got exercise. We've got the weather. And yes, you have to actually be connected to your phone for that. You can also see there, you scroll up and... You can see what the weather is going to be like for several different dates. I kind of like that. You got your shutter here, so you can click it and take a picture. And um, you've got your musical controls here. So you can see I was living into listening to a little bit of Devil's Dance Floor. <laughs> eh, don't judge me. And you click on the side, it goes back to where you want it to be. You can also swipe over this way, and you've got access to all the little bubbles. Those are all the same apps you can get to when you go to the settings menu. It's just a little bit more pretty, I guess. And yeah, scroll up, scroll down, scroll all around, and there you go. Click it again, and you're back to the main screen. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, and another thing I want to point out is uh, you can just change the watch interface on the fly without actually having to go through the app. You just swipe through and you can go through all the usual. It's got that one right there. That's the fancy professional looking one. 
and it's got all the standard nifty looking colorful things. I'm going to stick with my regular old Apple. Now the app it comes with is called Poo Fit, and like I said, it is very similar to just about every other tracker you have ever used in your life. Uh, you got your blood oxygen level, outdoor running, you've got your blood pressure, heart rate, your sleep. You can go in here and you've got yourself that you can set up your very own profile. And of course, you can change all the different settings on the watch from that menu. It works pretty well, and I've got no complaints. It stays connected. That's the important thing. Battery life on this little guy seems to be pretty darn good. After the initial charge, I did not charge it again for seven straight days, and that was mainly because I was getting ready to go on vacation, and I didn't want to have to bring an extra charger with me. Um, since I came back, I did charge it again. It has been sitting here on my desk for the past two days, completely unused since Sunday. Let's check out the battery here. Now, as soon as I came back, I did set this on the charger, and check this out. It's been sitting, doing absolutely nothing for two days, and there's the little battery bar. Just a teeny tiny sliver is missing. Battery on this is really great. Speaking of charging, it does have a proprietary charging cable. It's magnetic. Oop. Just like that, you pull it off of there. It's got the two little clasps there, and it's got the two little pins here, and yeah, they just stick together. You probably want to set this on a flat surface so it's not rolling around, plus, you know, it's a smartwatch and it's nice and you don't want it to break. So yeah, lay it on something flat and you won't have any issues. I haven't had any at all. I like it a lot. Now as usual, the link will be down in the description, so be sure to like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Consider supporting me on Patreon, and I will see you all later. Bye!